What's up everyone, it's PixelPilot here, and we are back with Firewatch. Last time we left off, we were heading to look at this okay, I have thin column of smoke. smoke. Great, find your way over there and give them hell. Yeah, let's go, let's go beat, let's go beat these girls up. We're not beat them up, we're gonna scare them. Because if we beat them up, then we could be arrested for harassment. But, they're near the lake, which means that, ooh yeah, ooh yeah. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. It's kind of hard to move into the same time. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Oh, you were brave. I was drunk. Well, look. That's right. I'm gonna have to hold E because I don't have it set to the other controls because apparently if I set it to Xbox my Xbox controller the settings if I set it to my Xbox controller controls for some reason it just likes to make my games go to complete crap and just lag way more than it needs to or way more than it should be at least okay they're out this way I'm trying to remember the controls again. <laughs> I know I was only playing just the other night, but it's for some reason it's just okay. They can't find smoke is down that way. So let's just head this way. Why is my game lagging? Oh, I hate this. It's really pissing me off. Is there not a way to get over there? It's pissing me off. It's starting to lag more. Um. Oh, there's a cache up this trail just a bit. So if I go, I think, to the east. Yeah, there should be a thing up this trail, which means it might have the map info I need on how to get to the next area to get to the campfire. You just follow this trail just a bit up here, and there should be another box. I might have already gotten it. I don't know. Maybe. Up. Oh, I can't. I can't get up here. Oh, there must be a thing like right over here. There must be a hook. Right over here somewhere. Right there. No. Right here. Right there. Sh I need to put a line up there once I can get up there, of course. Um, let's see. The campfire smoke. If I go straight, it should lead me to the lake, right? If I'm thinking correctly... This should lead me to the lake. Okay, so let me go south from here. And let me see if there's a pathway that I can go <clears throat> to get to where that stupid campfire is. Oh, look at that. Okay, so look at that. It's down here. Okay. So, here we go. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now, my game does lag, and I know it's really struggling, guys. But I tried to fix it as best I could. But for some reason, when I'm running this software and playing the game at the same time, the software and my computer, they just don't mix well. Now, if my freaking thing would work with GeForce Experience, I'd be able to, I'd be able to do it. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family. If Melbourne, my other recording software would work, of mine. which is Shadowplay, it would work perfectly fine. And her I'd be good. Susan is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. 
fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Oh good, there's a cash tree box, which means I can get my map info that I need here. Sweet. I love how he has the ring on. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. Just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. No, none of you are the one I'm looking at. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. No, none of you are Mr. Pinecorn. She was off. That's actually the sad story. None of you are to know Brian a little bit? Yeah, I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I... Let me try something. Oh, okay. Let's put it... Let's put that okay, so the shadow quality is then is low and now it's gonna be off, but I can't take it as off because that just yeah. takes all that away. One root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Up. Mm -hmm. About one of their empties. Roger that. Oh, I think they went up the, the stream. Maybe, did they go across it? I think they might have gone across it. We'll check this path and see where it takes me. Girls love a skinny dipping. I bet they're nearby. Found another. Roger that. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Maybe I'm getting close. Roger that. But what's with the Roger that's? I'm, I'm trying not to scream every time you tell me about the trash they are leaving in my forest. Oh. Instead, I'm focusing on some meditative poses. <laughs> really? No, I'm actually stress eating a Mr. Funbar. Oh, my second Mr. Funbar. <sighs> Jesus. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have drank four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or um, I don't know, 
sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? No, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? I think they called the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three. Wow. Sorry I didn't talk that whole time. I was just like, I was really focused. But this game is so beautiful, and I'm sorry for the lag. I hate it. As soon as I get my video card, I'm going to be much happier, because then I won't have all this freaking lag. Well, starting to fix the window. Just getting there. Find boards downstairs to patch the window. Oh, okay. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> do you know Raleigh Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> oh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm, had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a uh, good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um... Now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, uh, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me casts for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you 
Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Whoa, okay, that skipped a few days. Uh, we were just on day three, and now we're on day nine. I could have gone exploring, but I just, I was like, eh, let's continue on with the story. Hello, I'll go exploring when I can. Nice Not too bad. You get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Why is my game freaking... You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Okay, guys, let me see what I can do here. <sighs> Give me just a minute, guys. I want to try and see if I turn down the screen a bit. Okay, well, that did that. I don't want it like that. Like that, either. No. Well, guys, this is the best I'm gonna really get, and it might even help it just a bit. Here we go. Okay. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. I'll keep the screen like this from now on, guys, because it works a lot better. Day, six days later, day 15. What the heck, man? This game is just, like, so progressing. Henry. Henry, wake up. Oh my gosh. I would be like, bitch, shut up. Pick up the radio. Oh god. So I'm going want? somewhere. late. I know it is. You sound tired. Mm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know. That's great, Henry. Really great. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Mm hmm sure. Bye, baby. Wow. 18 days later, day 33. This game is very progressive, like, a lot. Oh, okay then. Mm -hmm. Looking at the map. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, there's a spot up there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well... I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like, wow. really I, oh, about that's it. a lot. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Oh my gosh. So, this game is actually. I fixed it. And so now it's not laggy. Almost. 
Not at so, all. Like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. He dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Wallace was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over 10 years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. I'm not mean. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? See now, I could have. What I could have done is I could have taken someone else's rations, and that might affect the story, which might have been cool. But I was like, "Nah, I'm not gonna be a douche." Got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. Uh, I'm gonna call it in. I'm gonna call in a crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque that, coming up that's, with her. That's cute. But why don't you do the honors? Hmm, what are we gonna name her? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, well, we're we'll getting back up here then. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but <clears throat> when the sun is down, you can just. That's actually really, that's actually really, really beautiful back there. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know you're not really available, but I want you to know, well, maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Oh. Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm, I'm just having the thought. Aww. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. We've got these radios. 
I don't like you. I wanted to hear what she was gonna say. Screw you, game. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me Oh crap, I dropped the fishing rod. Fishing game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and um So my game's not as laggy anymore. Huh. Problem bear, fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she said to check around the lake for just some paw prints. Check some bear tracks. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, update my map here. Okay then, a sweater? That's really weird though. What does this say? I am, I'm just gonna put that note away. I just don't feel like reading. I'm too tired to read. It's like two o'clock in the morning right now. And so that's my only issue. Like, normally I would be like, yeah, let's read it. I want to hear the story behind these two. But, um, <clears throat> I'm too freaking tired. I thought I was going to go fishing. How do I go fishing? Is there a way I can, like, access my inventory? Can I go fishing? Now, I want to go fishing now. Search the lakes for bear tracks. I just looked all around the lake and I can find bear tracks. Where does it want me to go to look for bear tracks? I'm guessing go up here. I am going to. Oh, mm, is there like an invisible wall there right now? Yeah, I can't go down the down to the canyon. Well, if it's letting me go this way, then I'm on the right track. Hmm. You know, check near the lake. So this guy's put out like a good amount of patches. Like there's been a few patches for this game that have helped just so much. Ooh, a clipboard. What? The, uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I uh, there's. Something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. is going on in this game what happened Henry I, I just I got hit in the head punched or something by someone are you serious what the hell is going on out there I don't know Jesus Christ <sighs> let me 
me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I... 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 I don't know. Alright, you guys are gonna end it right here. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.